all right then so today i am going to show you a a way of adding controller support to your umg widgets very simply so simple it is mind-blowing now disclaimer i'm using a asset from the marketplace but the you know the reason is and this is the, the one that i'm using i downloaded this last week it was on half price i'm not sure what the price is now um, by Kava Soft, I think is how you pronounce that. Now I'm, I'm I've got no affiliation with Kava Soft, but I I downloaded it last week because it was on offer, half price. But even at full price, I can tell you this is 100% worth it. I think it's like 23 bucks roughly, full price. Guys, unbelievable. There's no point if you if you've gone through tutorials or looked it up online of how to get controller support into your widgets you will know how difficult it is and it's way more difficult than it needs to be um, this is absolutely mind-blowing how easy this is to set up but it, it lacks documentation there's no documentation really they have one video linked at the bottom here which kind of shows you a, a little bit but not a lot um, so I thought I'd do a video because I'm so excited about this this is absolutely mind-blowing guys so even if you you know even if you put off by the fact that it, you've downloaded a widget um, a, a, sorry a, a plugin this is a plugin by the way an engine plugin um, watch the video anyway because you will be you will laugh at how easy this is I did I, la I actually laughed out loud when I implemented it because I thought my goodness this is so straightforward it is incredible so without further ado there's Get on with it. All right, so obviously the first thing you need to do is actually install this, um, purchase it and install it. Um, once you've purchased it, it'll be in your library right there. Now, th the downside to this is it only works with uh, 4.26. Doesn't work. I actually asked them because I didn't. I don't use 4.26, or at least I didn't. I actually asked them the question right here does it work in 4.25 and they responded by saying they are going to look around uh, look get around to looking at that um, maybe they will try and get it done but um, I converted my I couldn't wait so I, I converted my project to 4.26 but make sure if you do that you back up your files first of course um, but mine went well so I'm now using 4.26 for my game which by the way is called 3am and this is a screenshot from it and it will be coming out on steam hopefully in the next few months so keep an eye out for that and when it when i've got a store page set up i will put a link in the description if you want to go and check it out but if it's not there then i haven't set it up yet um there you go so so once you've uh purchased it it'll show up in your library and you want to click install to engine now, i've already done it so it's just going to give me a notice but it'll just give you um it'll give you an engine option which is the only option is 4.26 so just click install and once you've done that you can start up your project and you'll have a little um, pop-up down here saying there's a new plugin installed so you can click that or because i haven't got it i can go to edit and plugins and go to other and then there it is ksgp menu be so you want to click enable and then you'll have to restart the engine there'll be a pop-up here saying to restart so just click restart and then it is installed and ready to go so this is my game file right here and what i want to do is i want to do the main menu because my old main menu is there where is it so you, obviously you can do this from scratch on a new project but i'm going to show you how to actually convert your existing one so it's pretty straightforward it's basically the same thing so anything you you want and i can show you these buttons are compatible with game pads but only because of the code and what you can see here all of this is needed just to get gamepad compatibility um, that's how we used to do it and that only allows going up and down so i had to have my menus up and down vertical i couldn't have a button to the right this code only works going up and down so I can delete all of that now and there's also 
this is the um, hover state and the, I can delete all of this now because I don't need it gone and this bit here is to do with it as well so I can delete that and we'll just connect those two up there so I can get rid of all of that and that's much simpler so these buttons won't work now not with a gamepad anyway so to get gamepad support you don't want to use these ones you can use them but for gamepad support you want to use the ones that it in user created so drop that down and you can see all of these focus button ones focus button focus check part focus combo and blah 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 slider these are the ones you want to use because they're part of the plugin and this top one here fb this focus button has just been abbreviated because it's a long name so these are the ones you want to use this i'll show you how easy this is let's grab a button focus button you can drag it out and you can drag it anywhere i'm not going to use a vertical box just to show you how easy this is to set up so this is going to replace my play button so i'm going to go down here i'm going to type in play then i'm going to give it the right font which is that one and i think the size is 50. yep that looks about right whoops uh, i just did something right <laughs> let's do that again 50. let's make sure i grab that there you go so this is my new play button right so so it looks right this is scroll down and we can see how different states here now i wish these were up the wrong way around but there we go norm nrm is the normal style right so that is how it normally is going to look and the slt is selected so that's basically the hovered style then so the norm cover is going to be red um white and when i hover over it i want it to be uh, say red so let's go like that nice and oh, i'm going to anchor it as well let's anchor it to the left middle say and then we've got the background so i want it to be alpha so it's already on alpha the alpha is down but if you wanted it to have a background like a square around it you know you'd obviously put that up there but i'm not i'm going to keep it on alpha and the selected style background I want it to be on alpha as well so we're just going to have the text just being displayed and this is the color the text will change when um when we press play let's just press is this the main menu yeah it is so i need to switch to my other map save selected the other map is just blank so when i press play now this the main menu comes up although on the wrong screen let's bring it over here so you've got the play button so you can see now when I select it, it goes red, right? It doesn't do anything right now because I haven't set that up yet. So what I'll do is I'll get rid of that button, put that one in its place. Um, do, do, do. The play button's still there, we delete that. So the button, before I had a button and text, so I got that, that's the button and that's the text. So I don't need them anymore, I just need one button and that is it. So now what I can do is just grab the credits all the way down to the exit we just delete them all don't need them so with that one done we can just literally oh let's just rename it play button now we'll control w to duplicate and we put it underneath and this one's going to be the i don't know say credits button and over here we're going to type in credits and we can just duplicate that again call it I don't know options button plunk that underneath and we we'll go over here we we'll just do the three just to save time options right and you'll have any other buttons you want um, and what we can do well we just leave it like that for a sec just to show you this so you can see i'm, I'm kind of they know they know they're out of line they're not in line they don't need to be so i'm just going to purposely do that they just plunk there eyeballed the positions are completely eyeballed i'm not lining them up properly so let's select play button right so if we scroll down we've got these navigation boxes so if we go if we go down we want to go to the credits button so select the credits button 
if we go up you can leave that blank and it won't go up anywhere or you could if you wanted to wrap down to the bottom then you, in the up one we'll go to options and then select the credits and we select up is going to go to play and down is going to go to options oops wrong one and then options if we go up we go into credits if we go down we'll wrap it round so we'll come round to the top my voice is going sorry all right so that is that so if i press play right grabbing my control and nothing's happening right so the reason for that is because we haven't set a button to be focused so in our main th main map here when we press play obviously the um the widget comes on and fires um to get displayed there gets called so the the main menu basically gets called so let's just move these over a little bit because what we need to do now is off the main menu we want to pull off and type in play button so get play button and then drag off that focus it so it's telling it to focus on the play button when it starts up and that's all we need to do there and then in here on the um uninitialized what i'll do in this gap here is do basically the same is get get the play button where is it play button pull off that and say focus it so we'll just connect these up in there and press play and you can see then what if I press play again, it's automatically focused, so I can use my controller now. This is my controller. Look how easy that is, and it just works. And so, how do we uh, let's set up our um, function real quick? You can see these are yellow because I deleted these buttons. We can get rid of them because they don't exist anymore. So the play, oh, play. Where is it? Play button down here. We want to click on clicked. I may as well do the rest. Credits on clicked. Options on clicked. So we've got our three buttons that we've made, and we can drag these up and put them in their place. Like that. So they still work now. So if I press play, I have my controller, and I can press credits, and it goes to the credit screen. Options goes to the option screen. So it all works. That's how easy it is to set up. Now, if I wanted to do a, a, a button over here, say, so let's just duplicate another one. We'll call this um, exit button, and I'll call I'll type it in here as well. Exit. Now, if I wanted to put buttons over this way, I could just put them there, and that's literally it. And it's all I need to do then is set up this. So with the exit button. If I go left, I want it to go to play, so left, it goes to play. And if I go down, nothing, right, nothing, up, nothing. But on the play button, if I go right, I want it to go to exit. And voila, and I can also do right on the credits button as well. I can do right on the options button. Put exit on all of them, so it'll just work. So I press play. And then you can see if I press right now, it goes to the exit button. If I go left, it goes to the play button. If I go to credits, press right. Ooh. Oh, the options works, but the credits doesn't. I must have messed up the credits one today. Yeah, right. I, I selected credits. I should have select, selected exit. So if I go right and I go left, I go right, I go left, I go right. See how easy that is, guys? That is absolutely amazing. <laughs> amazing so easy to set up and that's it that's my menu done obviously if i want to move that then where it should be which is down there i just need to you know change this layout you just literally literally just point these to whatever button you want to go if you press right left up or down and that's how easy it is honestly guys that is insane and that's my menu done so all you need to do is set up the buttons in here which i haven't done the exit yet unclicked drag it up here so yeah that is it obviously i need to set these <laughs> i still 
not change these so to change them obviously it's just as easy I can just go to here and left would be nothing now and then up would be options down would be play and I have to change this one so down is now exit and this one I need to change up instead of going to options it goes to exit so now if I press play, if I go down, 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 and if I go up, 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 and that's it. Look how easy that is. I can exit the game, or play the game, but there you go. Uh, yeah, that's how easy it is. Um, maybe I'll do a separate video. What time are we now? 16 minutes. So perhaps I'll do a separate video showing how to do um, sliders, for example. So you've got like sliders here as well. If you can pull this out. And you can that's how easy it is to, to, to decide what size it is so you can focus on this as well and use it um, let's see if that works let's just get here go to right where's the slider is focus slider I haven't renamed this was just for focus slider and on the slider if I go left I want to go to the play button which is there so how this works is if I press right it goes to the slider and then you press X and then you can slide it oh and I press play perhaps it's not working right now perhaps it's not gonna work until I actually put cord on this but, um, you press X and then you can use your left stick to slide it it's not working right now because I haven't put any code in there but I can show you that in a different tutorial if you like let me know in the comments but uh, I just wanted to show you how easy this was to set up for gamepad control. You can literally, you know, use it, do any kind of settings, um, any kind of screen really you want, any kind of widget. I personally have done menus, I've done settings with these sliders, uh, where you've got the graphic controls and audio controls, and I've also done an inventory system. All with this, uh, this system here and this plugin, it is amazing. I love it. So anyway. Um, if you do buy the widget, uh, the plugin, sorry, leave a leave a when you leave a review, and you should leave reviews. You should because it helps out the the author. When you leave a review, type in in the review that Manny Mate sent you. Uh, that would be cool. That would be cool as hell. And uh, that is it. I'm gonna leave the video there. So I will see you soon. We're coming up to 20 minutes now. So. Ciao, blau. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.